Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Python to get the time zone of any phone number. So basically, you just have to enter your phone number with your country code, and then you're going to get the time zone of that. Even if it's not your country, and you get any specific number, and just type that number, it's basically going to tell you the time zone of that number. So I'm going to enter a Ghanaian phone number, and then it's going to tell us the time zone. So I'm going to say plus 233, that's a code for Ghana, and then I'll type in a number. And then when I hit enter, it's going to give us a time zone. You can see it's saying what Africa, Accra. So the capital city of Ghana is Accra. So it's giving us that time zone. Okay, so this, this is MTN number. And then I try to enter this, and it's giving us that. If I run this code again, and let me enter another number, which is going to be Vodafone. But it's also a Ghanaian number. It's also going to give me what the time zone. So you can see this is also giving me what Africa Accra. So you can try this program and then use your number and see how this is going to work for you. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and also support my channel and then hit the like button so as people can have chance to watch this video so we're going to build this more project to get the time zone of a number so basically we need to import a model in python called phone numbers that is going to allow us to be able to get this done we also need to import another function within the phone numbers model called time zone so i imported first firstly i imported the phone numbers and then also from the phone numbers i imported a particular function called the time zone which enables me to do that so basically i allow somebody I allow the user to enter any number and then it's basically going to give we go, we basically I allow the user to enter a number we prompt the user to enter a number we pass that number onto our mode our, our model which is the phone number model and then we store it in a variable called phone number and then we now pick our time zone the function and then we pass that number onto it and then we print the result out so basically that is what we're going to do so so let's start working on this project so first let's import for our model which is what phone numbers so we say import phone what numbers remember that is the keyword you need to use that's, that's going to be plural so once we import our phone number then our phone numbers model the next thing we need to do is also import our time zone okay so we have that time zone in what our phone numbers model so we're going to say from we're going to say from phone so it's going to be one word from phone numbers import time zone because basically we want to get a time zone of a phone number so that is what we need so these are the model we're going to work with and then we'll go ahead and then let's prompt a user to enter a phone number so i'm going to create a variable to store whatever number the user is going to enter so i'm going to create a variable let me just call it a number and then say input so basically we want to accept any input from a user you use what the input keyword so let's say enter your number so basically that is all and then once we get this number from the user the next thing we need to do is that we're going to pass this number onto our model so let me create another variable and say phone number and then i'm going to say i'm just going to call my model dot pass and then in this bracket the input we had from the user we'll just pass it onto our phone number model like this remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and then support me by liking this video if you really enjoy that so once we pass this onto our model the next thing we need to do now is also to get our time zone so let me just create a variable let me just create a variable and then let me call that variable what time so i'm going to say this and then i'll say time zone dot so i'm going to say time underscore so we're going to have this this way zoom underscore four underscore number and all we need to do is that 
the number we pass on to the number we accepted and pass on to our phone number models has been stored within this variable this new variable called phone numbers so we're going to copy this or just go ahead oh, i feel like copying it but let me just type it and then i'll just type the same thing over here and then now that we have everything set up let's print out our outputs so everything now is stored within this variable called time so let's print out our time so we'll go ahead and then print out for time so this is basically all we need for this program to run we've set up everything and then we can run this by clicking on what to run so you can see this program is running it says enter your number as we type over here so it's prompting the user so let's go ahead and then let me type in the Ghanaian number and then hit enter So we basically getting a small error over here and this is as a result of this is supposed to be what zooms, time zooms and not time zone. So take note of that. So let me run my program again and then go ahead and type in my number again. And this time around is working perfectly. So you're saying what? Africa and then Accra. You can try any number, your number and then see. Just run this program. Remember if your program is not detecting the phone number zone then you basically need to import import this you need to first install it so you can use pip it's going to be pip install then what you call phone number so you can use this to install the phone number model if you are not having it you can basically use it to import it i basically have it as part of my application my jupyter node with anaconda package i have my phone number model over there so it's basically very easy for me so if i go ahead and I run this program again and enter in a different number there's also a Ghanaian number you can try your country number and see how it's going to work so you can see this is also saying what africa then accra so accra is basically a capital city of ghana and it's giving us a time zone so this is just a simple application to detect a time zone i'll be doing more on the phone number models in python so remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos and any other related video in python i'll be doing other programming language like c sharp and the rest so in order not to miss any of those videos stay tuned and subscribe to this channel so like come your way another time bye bye